But now we're talking about the number one blooming white perennial that we offer. This is the Lancaster Betsy Shasta Daisy. Now, daisies. I mean, there's so many things we could talk about with daisies, whether he loves me, he loves me not, or how happy they make you, or maybe they evoke some memory of the 60s for you, or whatever they do, I bet you they put a smile on your face because they sure do for me. Now, this Lancaster Betsy variety we have picked because it is going to be the biggest flower of any daisy on the market. Traditionally, daisies are about two or three inches across, but these Lancaster Betsy flowers get to be four or five inches. They're also going to be a little earlier blooming than some of our traditional daisies. So daisies are spring, summer flower. So these will pop up late spring, depending on where you live and bloom all summer long. Now, what I love to do with white flowers is I love to plant them with my other flowers. Now, of course, you could do a meadow look. You could do a plant a big wildflower meadow of your lavender and of your daisies. I also think if you have an area of your property, like your Rose of Sharon, that you almost want to uplight, you want to draw so much attention to this beautiful tree you have in your yard, use natural date flowers. Because when you put white in your garden, it's like a good pair of white pants. It just makes your outfit, makes your outfit pop. And it really adds so much to your garden. In fact, there's a style of gardening called moon gardening. And what you do is you add a lot of night blooming plants or, and or white plants to your garden. And at night, you can go out and under the light of the moon, you enjoy them more because they reflect the light of the moon. So daisies are a key component in moon gardening, but if you're not moon gardening, I think they're a key component in any garden. I have some lavender here. So the lavender is gonna be a little bit more compact. So you see how our lavender, remember this sensational lavender from earlier, it's gonna be a little smaller than our daisies. So it grows to be about 12 to 18 inches tall. Our Lancaster Betsy are big, they get to be 30, 36 inches. So imagine this purple, I mean, look how the purple stands out. So much better against the white flowers than for example, it does against my pink shirt. It really, really pops against these white flowers. So it enables you to create a backdrop for the flowers that you really want to shine. But not that we don't want our daisies to shine. They are showstoppers. Daisies are so much fun, especially if you want to clip them and bring them indoors. They're long lasting cut flowers. They're long lasting flowers in our garden. In fact, we started the season with 5,000 units and we are on final quantities of these. Remember, everything in the show is free shipping and handling. So you can get these Lancaster Betsy Shasta Daisies home for three easy payments of $10.22. Now, you love them. You know that they're big plants in your garden, 36 inches, they take up a lot of space. So with these, you're getting nine feet of space, but you guys love these. You are buying more than one set because you know in your garden, maybe you have a few trees that you wanna plant these under to do that natural uplighting. Or you have a hydrangea, you have a butterfly bush that you really need something to go around the base of it just like these daisies, which do so well planted as companions with other plants. We love cone flowers. We love lavender, our hummingbird mint that we just had. I really think if you picked up any plant in this show, also picking up a daisy would be a good idea. We talked about that living mulch. Daisies do the job of blocking out weeds for you. They do the job of blooming and blooming and blooming. And the reason we chose this Lancaster Betsy really was for its flower size. That's what you want here. You want flower power and Lancaster Betsy gives it to you. So with this, yes, Aaron has it. Thank you, Aaron. I wanted to show you how it comes. This is not just me back here. I've got a lot of help. Thank you to Aaron and Dana and Deb. Couldn't do this alone. Um, this is the ship sample. So this is how it comes. You get three of these actively growing. And in fact, I can see a tiny little bud there. So these are ready to bloom. As I told you, they start to come out in spring. And so these are ready to go. Put them in a full sun spot and please plant them at least 24, at least two feet apart from each other. And I also wanted to show you our growing guide and remind you that every cottage farm plant comes with a growing guide, which gives you all the information that you need. If you can't remember what I said, including importantly our contact information on the back if you have any reason to give us a call or any question about this plant. 
You can always find me on Facebook though at Katie Garden Girl if you have any questions. All right, well, now we are on the guest pick of the show. So we're starting out, this is the Fiji. So it's